The rewind spring pulls the starter rope back into the starter when starting the engine. After years of use, the rewind spring will wear and eventually break. The spring will typically break at one of its ends, where it attaches to the pulley or the housing. This wear can be accelerated by using excessive force when pulling the starter rope, or if the starter rope is routinely pulled out to its full length. When the rewind spring breaks, it won't retract the rope back into the starter. Replacing the rewind spring is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the upper motor cover. Now I can remove the starter. With the starter removed, now I can begin disassembling it. The first thing I need to do is get the tension off the recoil spring. To do that, I'll pull the rope out and temporarily tie a knot in the center. Now I can remove the handle. I'll pull the rope from the handle and untie or cut off the knot. With the handle removed, I'll untie the knot and allow the rope to retract fully into the starter. Now I'll remove the screw that secures the other starter components. And now I have access to the spring. I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers to remove the spring. I'll be careful as I do this because the spring is still under tension. And I'll carefully dispose of the spring. Now I can install the new recoil spring. When you receive the spring, it's already under tension, and there's a wire that secures it. To install it, I'll align it with the housing, making sure that the hook aligns with the notch in the housing. Then I will press the spring through the wire retainer and allow it to expand into the housing. I'll use the pliers to remove the wire retainer. Now I can reinstall the pulley. 
I'll unwind the starter rope. And notice on one edge of the pulley, there's a notch. I'll insert the rope through the notch. I'll install the pulley back into the housing, making sure that I hook the spring around the cutout on the flange. Now I'll retention the spring. It's important as I do this that I keep downward pressure on the pulley so it doesn't come out of the housing. Also, I'll need to wind the pulley in the correct direction. The easiest way to figure that out is just rotate the pulley a small amount and see which way it recoils. I want it to recoil so it's pulling the rope through the opening back around the pulley. In this case, it's counterclockwise. I'll rotate the pulley and housing until it comes to a stop. Once I can't rotate any more tension into the spring, I'll then back the pulley off so that the rope aligns with the opening in the outer housing. Then I'll thread the rope through the opening in the outer housing. Now I'll carefully tie a knot in the middle of the rope. Again, being careful to not let go of the pulley, which is under tension. I'll allow the pulley to back up until the knot prevents the rope from moving. Now I can reinstall the damper spring. I'll place the hub over the damper spring, making sure to align the end of the spring with the hole in the hub. And I'll reinstall the screw to hold it all together. Now I'll reattach the starter handle. I'll thread the rope through it. Thread the rope through the center of the metal clip and tie a new knot. I'll insert the clip into the handle as well as the knot. Now I can untie the knot in the center of the rope. and allow the rope to recoil back into the starter. Now I can reinstall the starter. I'll align the starter with the starter cup and begin securing it with the screws. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the motor cover. And that's all it takes to install a new recoil starter assembly on your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.